Hey guys, Scott here. I'm in Madison County, Kentucky. I'm on the southeast end of the area that was the Battle of Richmond, Kentucky during the Civil War. Uh, it was 18, 1862. I believe it was August 29th through 30th or 28th through 30th. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to put that down in the description. But I'm up here looking for the Confederate Cemetery and the Old Tavern. There's a, I saw a marker up here that said uh, the cemetery was that way. And the old tavern is supposed to be near the cemetery. So let's, uh, let's go see what we can find. All right. So this is the trail. Well, it's a road. There's an old house down in here. We'll go check it out, too. It's not much left from area photographs. It... Uh, Look like it's mainly gone. I started to drive down in here, but back up there, and I'll show you. So there's the road coming in, and off to this side, there's a gravel park lot. You can see my truck sitting right there. And then right there's another little gravel road. So if you come down here, and it's, uh, it's summertime or uh, fall, you shouldn't have no problem coming down in here with a car. I didn't know how the road was. So, I drove the truck. I'm having a lot of trouble with my uh, my phone, so you have to, I'll apologize about that. My phone's not in very good shape. So here you can see the sign. I'm using my gimbal too, so... <clears throat> It, uh, I haven't used it since I uh, updated it, the firmware, so I've kind of forgot how to use it. So let me wander out through the woods here, and when I get to the cemetery, I'll give you all, uh, you what's going on. i to take my gloves back off again. So there's a cemetery. It wasn't actually too far away from when I last left you all. Somebody's been up here from fresh tracks. Maybe, uh, I don't know if they was up here this morning or yesterday. You know, it's really hard to put a pair of gloves on one-handed. So, like I said, this is a cemetery, one of them, from the Battle of Richmond, Richmond, Kentucky. August 29th to 30, 1862. Now, this is the Confederate cemetery. Now, I think there's uh, 15 soldiers buried here. I think a sign says. Let me go up here and I'll show you the sign, let you all look at it. I'll let you all uh, read this. You can pause it, read it at your convenience. So, this cemetery, until 1972, it has had stone markers. And during that time, the names were new or known who was buried here, but they didn't know which graves were which. So they just put the, the markers next to the Lime, pieces of limestone. So all the graves were just marked with limestone and these were just stuck next to each one of them but there's no way of knowing who was buried at which spot. But at least now they are uh, named and recognized. So let's go up here and see who we have here. Oh, one of these guys was uh, 15 years old. Jim McCoy, 1st Texas Battery. So here's, uh, this is what they were marked with. So there must have been one extra than they had. They actually had names for. Let's see, actually that may, oh, I see what they did. That was the rear of the other, the first one. So here's the stone marker. 
So this would be Robert Walters, first Texas battery. That's what they did. So that, that one was to the first guy. William Tidwell, Marion, so maybe uh, light artillery, so maybe Mar Marion, Kentucky. C.D. Simmons, Colonel, Tennessee Volunteers, 42nd Regiment. How do you say that? Bethanius A. Richards, Colonel D, 1st Regiment, Louisiana Cavalry. He was born in 1834. Val McCure, Colonel, I don't know, I don't know what the F stand for. Uh, 31st Regiment, Arkansas Volunteers. He was also born in 1832. John Diggins, Colonel, I guess it's Colonel, I don't know, 154 Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, 1830. Like I said, all these guys were uh, casualties from the Battle of Richmond. William Rhodes, 13th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers. Well, he was young, 47 to 62. Maybe he was the one that was 15. Yeah, I guess he would be. Whatever CLF sergeant is, John Barnett. Oh, it's oh, I see. It's Company E. Okay, I had that wrong. Company E, 47th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers. So this is, what, control sergeant maybe? I'm not really up on my uh, military insignia here. But yeah, I had the, the CL, so that's Company E. And he'd be Company C. A.H. Johnson, Marion Light Artillery. Third Lieutenant, James N. Boren, 1st Texas Battery. W.B. Claiborne, Company H, 13 Regiments, Tennessee Volunteers. Robert Stone, Company I, 13 Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers. Hmm. I'd say these guys don't get much visitors back here. You see, it's all just wooded. Not many people know this is back here, which is probably a good thing. Because the way things are these days, people come back here and deface these guys' graves. Which is stupid because, you know, no matter right or wrong, they were fighting for what they believed in. If you agree or disagree with it, that's beside the point. And they should be respected because, you know, they believed in something and they fought for it. So, I don't know where it is. But there is a tavern that was built in the 1830s that uh, was actually the hospital. So, like a, the, uh, I don't know where it's at, but built in the 1830s, there was a tavern out here that the Confederates used for a hospital, which I'm assuming that's where these guys were brought to. And then they either were killed in action or they died afterwards. But what I read is they were buried out back of the tavern. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wander on down the road. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna go out to, out to the end of this little landform and see uh, see if I can find the remnants of the tavern. I don't know if it's the building. So on Google Earth, there's a you can see the uh, chimneys from a building, but I think that's a later building because it was still standing up until uh, like 1980 something or 90 something according to Google Earth. But uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find it. I've got to put my gloves back on. My fingers are cold. So it's uh, what is today? Today's December 23rd. 
2021. But anyway, I've been wanting to come out here for a while, and I wasn't sure how well kept this cemetery was. And I'm actually uh, quite surprised. I mean, you can see it there behind me, how well kept it is. And somebody has come out recently and put these little Confederate flags up. So that was that was kind of nice. And like I said, you know, don't uh, don't gripe to me about the Confederacy or slaves and all that stuff because you know that was a hundred and what a hundred and seventy years ago, hundred and sixty some odd years ago. Yeah, about 160 years ago. And, you know, that was, I don't care. So, I probably won't put that part in there. People probably get mad at me. Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can find this tavern. I'm going to wander around here and see what I can find. And there you see behind me. It's the Confederate, it's the Confederate Cemetery, the Battle of Richmond. And once I get either find the tavern, I'll uh, I'll do a video on it to include here. And if not, then I'm gonna run on down to there's the Mount Zion Church, which is where the Union had a hospital, and the graves were actually moved on down the road to uh, and reinterred, but the the church has still to this day, which I think they're covered up now, but still to this day has cannonballs embedded in its south wall. So I'm going to go down and do a little video on it, and there's a little walking interpret trail around it. And I also saw that there's Battlefield Park, and I may go up there and just see what's there, maybe do a little short video to include it with this one or a separate one to give a little history of the Battle of Richmond. But I'll put a link down in the description. So let me go see what I can find, and I'll get back with you all let you know.